Let's try it out. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Still, it's eight hours. <laughs> hey, hey, all patrons. Uh, I'm doing this hangout all by myself tonight because John has left the building. <laughs> I'm just joking. He's yelling at me from the other room. I started it without him uh, because we had a bunch of people here. We have you started. Jason. I started. Okay. <laughs> you were all right. doing your own thing, and they kept asking me questions, and then I didn't want to spoil everything because we hadn't started broadcasting yet, and it wouldn't be. I know it was all my fault. Version. What do you want? It was all my fault. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. Do you want to get back at Kelly? Huh? Wait, what is that? It's Kevin. Kevin. Oh, oh, nice. I was like, wait, how did you get... We don't even have the yeah. lights. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hey, Jacob. Hey. Uh, can, you, can you do something about maybe this? Like lighting or makeup Oh, you want some light? Something. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Be careful what you ask for. because you <laughs> It probably won't help at all. Oh. Anyway. So. So I have a. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it clear enough, but there's a. Uh, remember the magic that uh, Paul Dixon did? <laughs> I, I don't know that I would call that magic. I would. I mean, I know I called him magical, but. I don't know that I would go that far. There, I'll warm you up a little I don't bit. I think you're playing with. You don't have to just do the eyeglasses. You can do the um, the stuff that Moritz showed you. You remember that? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I uh. I I like I look like a zombie. I think. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Focus is on manual. That that's Watch this. What I oh, check that out. Is that better? Ooh. You like that better? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> maybe, maybe, not, maybe not so much. That looks like me after about three or four beers. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's all you're going to get, Callie, all right. in terms of Whatever. adjustment. Can you Sorry, guys, guys. Can you guys hear us okay? Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. I'm using our little Samsung Meteor mic on the desk. As you see, John is wearing his new prescription Google Glass that he just got in today. What do you think? Awesome. Lucy, huh? Super glass hole. To be honest... Now, wait. Here's a question. Has anyone actually ever seen a pair of the prescription Google Glasses before? No. Not till now. No. no. I had never. I, I've never seen anyone wear these. I, Only I'm one the, person in our last live show said he had seen. Had, oh, really? Like the, yeah. One it person. is hot in here. <laughs> random. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought they was going to use that the skis to take off pretty short and show his abs. Correct. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah. He's done enough of that, I think. Um, <laughs> I've had enough of it. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know about the Google Glasses. Like, the prescription, they're big for your face. I know. But the, the that, problem is, that was the only choice. Now, let me tell you what the problem is. They had five different, if I recall correctly, I think there were only five. Frames, yeah. There were maybe four, four or five. There were not very many, okay? And, uh, oh, you can see the little things uh -huh. lit up in my eye at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there were only like four or five frames, okay? So, because I have a particularly narrow face, as you can see, they're really a little too wide for me. Like, All right. Yeah. You would really like to have my eyes be basically centered right in the middle. Can somebody take a picture of that? No. But <laughs> but there's more over here poking off the edge. It's just they're not the right size. They're not the right size for you. But you know what? If you put them on in order to capture some video of that's all I'm doing, doing with some stuff, then that's, that's not a big deal. World's most expensive point of view camera right there. That's it. <laughs> Two, over $2,000... Wow. 
so that we could get this video off that stupid thing when Callie and I go do things. So honestly, that's, swear to God, the only reason that I bought these yeah. was so that when we're traveling around, seeing cool stuff, we'll take our cameras and things, but we'll be able to, to get an extra You know how we did the dish behind the scenes? Like, yeah. 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 So he's doing his and I'm doing mine. And mm. it's I, I, that actually seemed to work in, in post processing it after did. it edited. Well, we didn't have to see what kind of a nightmare it was for Dave to edit. It. We just <laughs> sure it. Here you go, Dave. But you know what? It's really just like having two camera, a, a two or three cameras shoot. He's used to that. It, yeah. It's not that big of a deal for editing. No, it's not. Because he lines them up and they cuts, 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 cuts. Yeah. Plus, I, mean, he, I don't know. His job is like super easy. He just hits the cut button. Right, that's all he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't tell him I said that. Right. <laughs> What's the format of the video that comes out of the Google Glass? 720p. Oh, great! It thought that now it's it, it's <laughs> googling 720p. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, 720p Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. <laughs> 720 HD is a progressive HD TV <laughs> signal format with 720 horizontal lines. Blah blah blah. Nice. It'll well, at least you know what 720p is now, John. Why? Why did it do that? I didn't. Because he said Google, and then you said 720p. No, but you have to say OK Glass. Oh. First, I have to go like this. Now it's googling. First, I have that to go like this. That wakes it up. Then I have to say OK Glass while it's awake. Now it's googling it's while a piece it's awake. Of it's not a good thing to buy. Now it's okay. Googling glasses crap. Don't <laughs> buy it. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what the other ridiculous thing is. You spend $2,000 for a 720p camera. Now keep in mind, this phone shoots 4K video, which is four times 1080p. This shoots 720. This is two thousand dollars. <laughs> this is like what five hundred? It's not worth it. Now, just to cap things off, to make it even better, you notice the glasses are straight on my face. You can tell because like my eyebrows are peeking up, out just a little bit above on each side. It's not like yeah. crooked, okay? If it was crooked, it'd be like that. It's not. It's it's straight on my face. Yeah, but you look awkward when you're looking at it. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying it's straight. But guess what? The screen is crooked. <laughs> the, screen the screen is, is crooked. crooked. Right now, when, I, when I do this, the screen oh, yeah, it is. is crooked. Was that that way before you got these glasses? With the, with with this, the, the little nose the frame? Nose whole different problem. There, I could not sit with just the nose frames, keep, keeping in mind that, of course, I'm blind, so I can't see without prescription anyway. <laughs> but mm -hmm. what I could see, the this little glass thing right here, it was basically too high or low, one or the other. I can't remember. I think it was too high, and I could not see all of the little display. Now, here's what's really ridiculous. Watch this. I can move this. It swivels in and out. You see that? Yep. It uh -huh. swivels in and out. Will not go up and down. Oh. You Only goes in and out. No up and down. That means it's crooked on my face and cannot be fixed. So, uh -oh. so here's the deal. There's a little button. You see that little button right there? Yep. Yep. If I touch that button, it takes a picture. Now, my head is perfectly straight, so if I touch the button and take a picture, now I have a crooked-ass picture of you guys. <laughs> that means, hmm. And you don't get to preview what the picture is taking. You, It takes a picture, then shows you. So that means I have to now I have to hold my head a little sideways and try and, like, okay, is that going to be straight? Let me take a picture. Hang on. No, now it's too much. Now I got to go the other way. Let me see. Ah, I can't get. I can't get a straight picture. Which means I didn't buy this to take pictures. I bought it to take video. 
So you can imagine now, everywhere we go, I'm going to be walking around like this, shooting video. <laughs> oh, boy. You need a massage at the end of the day. I will. I need a... You, see, you hear that? I don't need right... Psh. <laughs> and does the Google Glass device itself store video? It does. It has tw like I don't know. I think it has 16 gig of internal storage or something. But when I look in the little settings right now, it says it has 12 and a half gig of free storage. Why don't you can upload that? Yeah, of drive storage. And it will automatically. Uh, automatically take those images and upload them to Google Plus into a private album. I see that. You know what? <laughs> so I didn't get it. I didn't go to bed until like 4 a.m. this morning. Okay. What do you want from you me? You just got the plane. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough of the Google Glass. Here's the bottom line: Do not, no matter what you do, do not give them any of your money for this. <laughs> Well, there could be future devices that are better. And cheap. My hope yeah. is, of course, this is the first gen of this kind of technology, so it's very kludgy. It doesn't work well. It doesn't it's fit well. It's, yeah. it's heavy. It's heavier on the right side of my face than the left, which sure. makes me uncomfortable, um, etc. But if we look, let's say, five years down the road, if they can do something where, let's say, they embed the battery throughout the frame to distribute the weight. Yeah. Um, let's say it, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> add, add inductive charging to it yeah. so that when I want to charge it, I can take them off and lay them on a little charging pad, just mm -hmm. lay them on it, and they charge, sure. and have the battery actually last like a whole day because right now if I shoot video with this it will last about 40 minutes literally really? literally oh yeah it's not very then it will take hours to charge and how does it charge now USB USB yeah and then what they also need to do is they need to have like a very thin filament layer over the actual glass instead of this thing sticking out here put it right on the glass so that somehow it's it's normally transparent, but when there's information to display, it does it right on my glasses, but still as if it were you know off in the distance like a heads up display. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. There are going to be other manufacturers that produce similar devices. Yeah. Eventually. We'll see. The yeah. other thing is there's a whole ecosystem because you need to have not only the glasses. I see that. But you also need to have 4 a.m. <laughs> you need to have the ability to like uh, uh, you know have have it upload to shared services and be able to, to have the social interaction, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. What would be very interesting would be in a purely theoretical sense, if Google were once they get all this fiber deployed everywhere, to then start layering Wi-Fi on top of it. Hmm. So now you could have ubiquitous Wi-Fi everywhere, all that people could have an account with their glasses. They're walking around, they're they're live streaming, they're doing what and it's all sharing out through Google Plus or whatever. Now that that would be something to try and match because that would be difficult for anybody to keep up with. Sure. So enough about Google Glass. Yeah, enough about that. Some of you have been paying attention to the drop cams today. Yep. Anything interesting? <sighs> they get those floors done. Oh, I don't mean at the Geek House. Actually, that okay. We can. Well, first of all, here at the the current studio, we are packing up a storm. Yeah. Ken yeah. is going at it. Um, eventually, we decided to get off of our. And so has them. Scott working oh. his butt off. You guys say you just took apart the table, the interview table. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, I, I was gonna help him, and then I realized <laughs> I, I set him on the task as I was getting on to this. So, he, he did a good job at it. Right. I'm sure. <laughs> he delegated well. Yeah. Right. That's good management. Good right, management. Right. You're, you're fit for management. So, um, yeah, we're basically doing two things. One, packing up for like moving and two packing up for CE week. 
Ken is really focused on CE Week, uh, and we're not messing with that because we don't want to mess with his his management style because he's got to keep everything organized. He's got to make sure when we get there, there's nothing missing. So yeah. All right. You don't want two people involved in that. You want one person running through their mental checklist, you know? I, I thought he had a, an actual checklist. He probably does. He's Ken. I hope he does. He's very <laughs> organized. Me, it's all mental. Well, you are mental. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into it. That's what I meant. Yeah. He did walk right into it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we've been packing up. We're throwing a bunch of crap out. Holy crap, we had a bunch of crap. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff. Anyway. You're um, starting to sound a lot like me. You know that, right? Uh-oh. There was a I'm day. Not, I'm not saying curse words. There was a. Big ass fans. There was a day when you wouldn't even say the word crap. You just said it twice in one sentence. Three times. I think I said it three times. Holy crap. There's a lot of crap. Holy crap, we're and throwing we out a lot of crap. Man, we had a lot of crap. You didn't just say crap. You said holy crap. <laughs> Never <laughs> I'm a bad influence. Oh, John, you're out of here. Yep. Actually, uh, I'll just leave. I'll leave you to all this mess, and I'll get away from. Oh, okay. He didn't. He didn't like that idea. <laughs> like that. Tell him about the floors. Okay, so the floor <sighs> he has. So, oh man, what a nightmare. Uh, so last, it, they were supposed to be done last week. It was supposed to take two days. As you know, they did not even show up the two days that they were supposed to be there, um, put us off until Monday, this last Monday. And they did actually show up on Monday. Um, it was supposed to take two days. They were sure of it, and that's what they did. By the way, uh, Monday, I don't think they were there first thing. I think they were there like, you know, 10 or 11 o'clock, but I can't remember for sure now. But go ahead. No, I think I, I think I saw them there, there like there's 8, a difference. There's a difference between people walking in the door and actually people working. That's right. true. Wow. I yeah. saw people there around 845. I don't know who they were or what they were okay, doing. Okay, go ahead. Um, and then, to like, last night, I, I get it. Actually, I was on the plane on my computer on Wi-Fi um, and I pinged John I was like why you know how's the how's the floor like it looks great on the drop cams I don't know if you saw but like in the in the the front room the drop it looked beautiful mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like yeah. I can't wait to get home um, in like 360p in the dark <laughs> right <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it tiny it looked like it was done I was like yes and so I think John I was like, how do the how do they look? They look great over here. It's kind of like when you're really, <laughs> really drunk and you're in a dark bar. Everybody looks good looking. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so he, was, he, he responded, uh, they look horrible. They, they don't look yeah. done. They're, we, we, I don't know what's going on. So today we go Was over. there any profanity? There was a little bit of profanity. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm not... Repeating that part, people just assume. That oh yeah, they profanity. would. Yeah. <laughs> when you said it was coming from me, then they already know. They yeah, fill that. They just they fill it. that in in their head. Right. Okay. So uh, today we go over there, and we're there's they're at lunch. There, there's no one there except for the electrician working, and uh, so we're looking at the floor. We're inspecting it, and it just looks like crap. And I kept thinking. Uh, well, we we were talking about. Wait, it. hang on. We weren't sure. You need to revise that statement. What? I don't think I I am all for I'm all for giving credit, you know, where it's due or not. But I would not go so far as to say the whole floor looked like crap. No. What I will say is it was not entirely meeting our expectations. I was very sad when I walked in. What she was hoping for, what we were both hoping for, was imagine an old piece of concrete. Yep. And mm -hmm. what would happen if you took something and, like, literally sanded it down and kind of ground off the top layer of concrete mm -hmm. so that it would expose fresh new concrete, right. basically, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, yep. Yeah. That's what we had in mind. That is not what we paid for. What we paid for was getting 
all the old flooring off, all the old mastic, which is glue, uh -huh. off, right. and getting down to a smooth concrete surface. Okay? So turns out there were three layers of mastic on there. Uh, one, 40 years of yeah, uh, floor over floor. Over. So there was like there was a yellow one and then in the between two yellow layers and in between a black layer and you had now cubby? Yeah, I was just listening. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um so they they have removed a lot of it, but like the guys were saying it's taking a lot more time and a lot more work because one, they had gone in there to begin this entire process right at the very beginning of construction. Well, before the asbestos removal. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they found more asbestos than we knew was in there and so they had to stop the process. They got kicked out. Well, mm. they had already laid down some like chemical chemical remover crap. I'm saying crap a lot today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so then they had to abandon it and now it has stuck and oh. caused even more problems. So the whole thing is taking them twice as long, essentially, if not more. Three, three times as long. Probably three times as long as they originally quoted us. Uh, <sighs> and I don't think that it will wind up looking quite as good as we had hoped originally. Yeah, um, that's not good. So. But having said that, what we were originally thinking was going to happen is we thought that this process was going to, uh, you know, the last stage of this process is sanding the concrete. And they're doing that with like an 80 grit. They got a big, it looks like a buffer. You've seen in the movies where like people have a buffer and they're on, you know, a floor and they're like, all that, right? Yep. A machine like that with a big round 80 grit sanding disc on the bottom. And they're just going at it, okay? But concrete's a little tougher than that. So what's happening is it's scraping off all the junk and leaving the surface very smooth but not actually cutting into the concrete. Uh. So um, because there's layer upon layer of you know flooring that they have removed and each had different colored glues and things like that, that stuff has seeped into the porous under the concrete underneath it and has left a, a, a stain, essentially. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so when you look across the floor, it looks like an old, multi-cuddlered, weathered concrete slab. Huge. <laughs> the question is, do you think that's nice? Or do you think it's ugly? So, you know, I think uh, when when we stand back and we look at the work they've done in areas that are essentially finished, if you if you could clear your mind of what your preconceived notions were, and look at it for what it is, it's kind of a cool, weathered, old-looking concrete, and. And we will have to reserve judgment. It may end up, I don't know, it may end up being that that's better than what we thought because we're decking out this building with all new high tech, right? Mm -hmm. yep. What's going to be left to show something old like the building? Maybe that's the floor. Maybe maybe right. this is what we were destined for. So it could be that the old weathered concrete, once it gets its pretty clear coat on it, maybe it's going to look awesome, and we just didn't know it. I don't know. Yeah, I I think I think the uh, the main thing will be the yellowy mastic that they can't get up. You know, I think that stained. I um, would have never thought about that except he kept talking kept about that he, because he, he clearly he did not like it. Yeah, no, he doesn't like even the discolored change of color throughout the look. I mean, just we're, everything we're, he talked about, he doesn't like that look. We're talking about one of the guys who's the pro who does this for a living. I, he seemed to be like the main guy. He, I mean, he might have been like a foreman or something. He wasn't like a main guy, but he was a senior guy for sure. And, you know, let's keep in mind that guy 
goes in and works on concrete projects that are like a million dollar right. floors. You yeah. know what I mean? Like literally. I mean, so he's, he sees the best of the best he's, and the worst of the worst. Yeah, he's been in there where floors look like the Taj Mahal. To right. him, ours looks like trash. Right. <laughs> I, I think ultimately it'll look pretty darn cool. I think there will be some areas of the floor that'll be like a little... Oh, huh, that's interesting <laughs> because there are lots of patches and there are lots of different colors and there. But I think ultimately it will look really cool. Um, Hopefully, we, just, it gives we a just don't know. Yeah, yes. we just don't know until they finish it and we see the yeah. seal. So we, we'll see. Are you see. putting carpet down? No. No. So it's going to be plain. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be sealed, shiny. All concrete. Our whole our goal it would have been much cheaper to do oh, carpet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We could have done carpet throughout the building for one third the cost of what we're doing. Uh, I kid you not. No. We're paying, we're paying, we're paying get a few at least three times. What, Bruce? Get a few. Get a few still pictures of what you got now, and then when the uh, when the clear coat's applied. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. We should because then also we can show we can show other people before and after if anybody's thinking about it. We'd be like, yeah. okay, if your floor is all crappy looking like this. Here's what it looks like after the yeah. the, the clear coat. So yeah. we need to do that. He, he did show some pictures, show us some pictures of a floor that he recently did that started out looking somewhat like ours. He hated it. And he hated it, but I thought it looked really good. Yeah, and I thought it was awesome. It, you know? it was, He's like, look at this horrible picture. I was like, that's pretty cool that looking, awesome. actually. <laughs> it's all in the opinion, right? Yeah. But I, you know, once I mean, and and we also have to keep in mind that once we have all the furniture in, and you know. That everything is there. Some of that'll be covered up too. So you know, I right. mean, it's true. We'll we'll see. That's true. Also, the other question is, you know, what else is going to be going on in the building to to contrast with that? So it could be that in other buildings, people might, if they had the same floor that we right. had. But let's say they were doing some particular paint job on the wall, you know? The two could look terrible together. But our building, uh, when it's all finished, it's it's going to be extremely, uh, without any decorations, it would be, the only word that I could think of to describe the building would be clinical. Right. It is going, literally, every single wall and every single door throughout the building Bright white. That is the actual color, bright white. But it, hmm. it, bright white. That's the paint color, okay? Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, uh, then the... Yeah, here, see what's got. Bye. Thank you then for your help. The door frames, the door handles, and all the other trim pieces are a kind of a, a, a silver... Aluminum. Silver, yeah. yeah, silvery aluminum. Brush metal Brush. type deal? Yeah. Yes, yes. Nice. And so... If that was the whole building, it would be, it'd be difficult, right? But the reason we went with that is because of the things that we're planning on putting in there. And so we thought, we, we really want a clean surface to be able to spruce up with art and decorations and furniture and some other stuff. Um, and so that, that was intentional. Right before we get everything in, it's probably going to look pretty uh, stark, but... I, once we're all said and done, by the time the launch party comes, it should look pretty darn amazing. I'll give you guys an it example. Better. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Otherwise, we, we wasted a whole lot of money. Hmm. I'll give you guys an example. Um, I have a really cool picture uh, that, that our friend Trey Ratcliffe uh, uh, made for me. And yeah. I, I think most of you probably know Trey. He's a photographer, you yeah. know. Look him up on Google Plus if you haven't seen him. Um, so what happened was uh, Callie and Trey and I and Cubby actually I see that were <laughs> we were on a trip somewhere. We were in Atlanta or no, you weren't there. No, I wasn't. You there. weren't there. Wait, which Atlanta? I mean, I was at the Atlanta trip. Yeah, you were there. I was there. <laughs> I don't remember. The same trip? No, it was a different yeah, trip. Had, you were not there. Yeah, it was a different. You trip. were not there. Trey. Scott Cublin and myself were in it in Atlanta, goofing off. Anyway, did Trey you pulled, go to Atlanta with them without me? I did. Trey pulled out his laptop, and he had this picture 
of New York Central Park. Mm -hmm. I instantaneously recognized that scene. I had been in that particular spot years prior with some other friends and this funny event occurred and, and it's always just been in my mind and I just loved it. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. I want a print of that. And Trey said, all right, you know, we'll get it, we'll get it printed, whatever. So he went to work editing this thing. God knows how much time he spent editing it. I don't, I don't know that he even released this picture publicly. I don't know. I, I mean, he's released a lot of photos. This may, this may not even be one that's, that's public. But the point is, I said, I want that one. He edited it for me. He sent it off to the print shop, and I said, I don't just want that picture. I want the biggest print you have ever printed in your life of that picture. That could be pretty big. Like, of any print you've ever done, this one has to be bigger than that. <laughs> to this day, I still have the biggest Trey Ratcliffe original photograph on planet Earth. It's <laughs> in my house. But I thought, you know what? I enjoy it. It, I get to look at it every day. It reminds me of something that's special to me, but we might as well share it with the world. So we're going to move that to the Geek House. It's a giant print. Oh, awesome. it's, a big, it's a metal print. It's printed on metal and everything. Oh, wow. And to replace metal. it, you're going to put my kindergarten drawing of my <laughs> dog uh, in your house, right? Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how big is the actual print? Yeah. Oh, it's... I don't know. I don't remember. It's huge. Six we feet did, wide. We did an unboxing of that, right? Oh, yeah. Like, that's right. If you, you know, maybe if you look on, like, it's. I think it's on my blog. I, it's, like, on onemansblog.com. Yeah, I'm not even sure it's on. Hang on. TV. No, it's not. Onemansblog.com. Uh, you, you probably Trey. Probably Let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> Do oh, I put on man's My new wall. custom. Nice. Yeah, my new custom yeah. HDR wall art. That's it. The first one. Uh, back from 2010. Wow. That's yeah, a nice looking it, picture. It, it's, yeah. it's badass. It's, it's badass. Picture. So, yeah. there, you can see that picture. Um, let's see, how big was and it? So, imagine, I mean, to tie this in. Five foot diagonal. It's five, five foot. foot. Oh, okay. Five foot diagonal. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, imagine having colored walls and different stuff on the walls and and, and, and the, the trim and stuff, trying to match things it, like this, a bunch compete. of them throughout. It just wouldn't work as well. So that's why we went with uh, bright white and the stainless steel look, um, just to kind of even everything out, clean everything up, and allow us to feature amazing things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Hopefully, mm. hopefully it'll all work well, um, and it, it won't feel clinical or anything. I, I really don't think it will. I think there's gonna be so much eye candy distraction that yeah. the white is just gonna be bright. There's one other benefit to the bright white. Um, it actually requires less lighting. So if you recall, we are actually converting the building over to LED. It's we're going. 100% LED everywhere in the building. Yeah. And what we're doing is we've got these big 2 by 4 foot light panels in the ceilings that have currently four bulbs in them. We're going from four T12 bulbs, which are currently about, I don't know, maybe at least 35 watts apiece, four of those per fixture. And there are a hundred fixtures in the building. Yeah. Ooh. So what is a hundred time? It's it's there are four hundred. You had to ask that. Thirty-five watt bulbs. That's like over twelve thousand watts of light, right? Fourteen thousand. Yeah, a lot. So we are going from that 
to eat. First of all, we've eliminated more than 20 of the fixtures. We're down to eight, 80 fixtures throughout the building. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm not even counting the ones in the warehouse. Right, only the only the, the office, office portion. Space. Okay, we're down from a hundred a hundred fixtures to eighty fixtures, and instead of four 35 watt bulbs, we're gonna have two 22 watt bulbs per fixture. So what's the math? Uh, 160 times 22. I can't do that in my head. 3,600 or something? I don't know. Yeah, 3520. So we're going from 14,000 14, watts of light to 3,600 watts of light. And what's the unit cost on those LED bulbs? We're getting them for just under 25 bucks a piece. That's not bad. Well. Not bad. So uh, now there's also and there's one other thing. These lights, the all the lighting fixtures are going to be on. Uh, there's motion sensors in, like everywhere throughout the building. There's motion sensors. Yes, that's right. So not only are we going from fourteen thousand to you know thirty five hundred watts. Basically, let's just say we eliminated ten thousand watts worth of light use, you know, alone, and the lights that do remain. Will will turn off automatically when there's no motion. After I don't know, pick a what period of time do we want to pick? Five minutes? No. Ten minutes? <laughs> <laughs> ten or fifteen minutes. If if there's Five no minutes. movement in ten or fifteen minutes, they just turn off. And if there is movement, guess what? These are LEDs. They're instant on. Right. So as soon as it detects it, bam! All your light comes on. And when the timing is adjustable. Oh yeah, the timing is adjustable on all these uh these little switches and things. Yeah, good. Because some of them are fixed. Oh yeah, no, no, the ones we get are adjustable. Excellent. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say. So when I take my naps, I better not toss and turn. Oh right, as soon as you toss. <laughs> right. Because you know that's all I'm gonna be doing. Right. <laughs> in the, um, in the uh, you do have your big you have your big black leather sofa now for the quiet room. Uh huh. And we tested the quiet room. I don't think we told them. Uh, I think we did, we did on the last. Did we yeah, tell you guys? I think last yeah. week we told oh, you. Oh, it's a video. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, mean, the I video. Think that's what we talked to you about. That's that's all right. John John doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so um, those are pretty much like the lights and the and that stuff. Oh, um, one question that keeps coming up is why is there so much stuff being piled up in the warehouse? Mm. <laughs> so. If you look at the drop cams, that that is a mess. Um, yeah. All the insulation is piled up. All the old insulation, uh, very nicely and neatly, by the way. Yeah, I was yeah. impressed by that job. Um, they just didn't throw that away yet because we didn't have a place to throw it. Our dumpster is full, so we requested a change out, which I I think was the the plan was to not have another dumpster pickup. And five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks per dumpster pickup. Wow. Every time. And we have had, so far, we're on our ninth. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Holy moly. Wow. So this I will thought, be I thought number about just 10. carrying things to the Yeah, dump. this will be number 10, but which means we paid $5,000 for trash. Just for taking the trash out. Yeah. Jeez. I wish you wouldn't have calculated that. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Um, so the, yeah, the dumpsters that's there right now is full. Yeah. They were taking it away today because they got to get all that crap out of the warehouse so we can put all our crap in it this weekend. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Saturday, come Saturday, the flooring guys said they'll be done by tomorrow. I don't believe them. They said worst case scenario they'll be done early Friday, which probably means like... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're done or not. They're not doing anything in the warehouse. So, well, that's true. Everything here, with the exception of a few, like <laughs> maybe like three or four desks, everything else goes to the warehouse over there. Getting over there. Hmm. Because so it'll be piled even higher. Yeah, because <laughs> we're leaving town right for two weeks, and we have to be out of here by the end of this month. We are not going to pay another five thousand dollars to stay here for one more month when. We're not even getting the benefit out of it. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Everything is such a wreck. Well, we if everything is a wreck, here. let it be a wreck over there. Save five thousand dollars. We'll shoot the shows in the street if we have to. You know what I mean? Uh. Mm-hmm. So I shot the last episode on set today. Oh, yeah. um, it's funny. Uh, we actually put like the ladder in there, and um, that is your Google Voice. Nobody ever. I calls me on my Google Voice. Somebody's calling you on your Google Voice. Oh, it's Tim Kirk. Did you feel? Uh, <laughs> Hold on. Did you feel uh, nostalgic? What do you mean? Oh, I did a little you? bit. Hi. Hi, Callie. I, I'm on it. Oh, how are you guys? We, we've got two hangouts going in here. Okay. See what, see what he looks like. <laughs> Sweet. Did you hear what they said? Yeah, they, they started their own party. That's awesome. Say hi to the other hangouters. Hello. <laughs> That's funny. How do we get them into I, there? Um, well, it, it was full. It's full. Yeah, it's, it's full. We're locked out, and we're just having a over here. We awesome. can only get eight? No. I thought ten. I thought you could get ten. Six. One, There's two, ten. three, There's four, ten. five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, and plus yeah, us, plus. we count? Yeah, we count. Shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So, from uh, Malaysia and Germany. Nice. <laughs> Good night, mate. Awesome. <laughs> I I I went I, I was like wait I I never get hangout calls I guess I guess you were able to call me because I because you're in my circles yeah that's so funny you know what now we should find a way to break the rules here we should maybe what we could do is get like two hangouts going at the same time Kim you think <laughs> there's a way we could like get two hangouts going at the same time and like magically bridge them through the TriCaster somehow or something crazy like that and get 20 people on for free? Because if we could do two, then... Yeah, if we could do two, we could do eight. You see, you ask him to do something and he's packing I know, he's like, he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> people. That's funny. We're always asking to work miracles. Okay, well, just... Hang on, we'll uh, we'll keep you on here. Yeah. <laughs> and try and work this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I wouldn't have answered had it been anyone else other than any of you. Right. <laughs> I hear somebody breathing into their mic. What were we talking about anyway? Oh, um, we were talking. Oh, the uh, warehouse and moving. So. Oh I, yeah. I don't know. Are you, were you listening to the? To the we all listening hangout? to the YouTube version. Yeah. The YouTube thing's locked out too. What? what? Yeah, because we said it's a private. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. So last week, I, I, I found out that once we were done with a hangout, it was still it was available to anyone that went to the event page. Uh, really? And so I was like, oh crap! Well, I have to figure this out. So. I, I went in and I figured out. I tested a bunch of stuff, and I figured out how to lock it down. She fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> but now, so apparently, what I did broke it. Broke it for you, fixed it. you guys. Okay, so she fixed it, John P. style. I, <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, I don't. I will I'm, never take shit for that again. I'm going. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't edit it. See, this is the problem. I cannot edit the live hangout. Okay, so next live hangout, I will fix it again and hopefully uh-huh. actually fix it. I'm sure then, it'll be better. And then I know exactly <laughs> what to do after the fact. So now I know how to set it while it's going on and after the fact, which are two completely different settings, which doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so But now it all makes to- sense in my head. Back to the story, we were talking about the warehouse. Yeah. And we are talking about moving all of our junk this weekend because we are paying $5,000 a month for this place while we're play- paying for the mortgage over there, while we're paying for the construction over there. It's a heavy burden to bear. So uh, since we leave town this week, next week. Next like, week, Wednesday, hmm. you leave That's it, town. we're gone. For two weeks, 
I think I arrived back like the last day of the month. Or the something. 29th, which uh, the 30th is Monday, so the 29th you arrive back on Sunday. Okay. So basically I'll arrive back on Sunday and and we have Monday to get the last remnants out of here. Yeah. That's it. Now meanwhile, of course, we're going to be on the road. I'll be on the road for 2 weeks. She'll be on the road for, you know, a little less, but a week and a half. Yeah, um it's not like everything else stops. No. While we're doing while we're doing all that, uh, uh, they keep working. They've got they've got a psych wall to build. They've got to paint the entire place. We have plumbing stuff that has to be finished. We have you know there's like a huge laundry list of yeah. things. Uh, a ton of electrical work. So it's just because right now what we're trying to do is get our certificate of occupancy. But just because we get our certificate of occupancy, that doesn't mean we're done. No. Right. It just means we're allowed to work from that building while the other stuff gets finished around us. Yeah. So Todd Pacey, yeah. uh, uh, who's, who's the guy helping us with the fire system, the badge access system. You'll see that unboxing of the we stuff just, he sent to actually, us just, over. It was posted it today. It went in today. Yeah, went out. today. Oh, good. So uh, uh, the, that was the that was just the badge access system. Also, he's sending us all the stuff for the fire system right now because that has to be installed prior to getting the CO. Yeah, we cannot literally get the CO without that. Uh, imagine yeah. they want you to have a fire system in your building. <laughs> <laughs> so, Especially with John P. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's on its way. And then there's the IP camera system as well. Yeah. So Todd, Todd literally like single-handedly made all those things happen. He is it's amazing. unbelievable. It's awesome. Unbelievable. Yeah. And he's going to come down as well Next and, week, right? and, and walk maybe. through and look and give, yeah. them, give them some work, some tasks, give the team some tasks so they can get all that done. Because uh, while we're on the road, what I'm hoping is, first of all, the fire. The fire system will get installed either end of this week or beginning of next week because that has to happen like fast. Right. So that will get installed, and then sometime right thereafter, I'll get on the road, and uh, we should get our CO. They're going to start painting, and Todd will come down, and tell and Todd and Ken will do a walkthrough of where all are, all the IP cameras going to go. So that the IP camera system can get ordered with all the various cameras that we need, parts and stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, Todd is going to go with Keith, the electrician, and say, "Here's what you need to do for all the badge readers everywhere." So Keith gets started on all that junk. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, that'll be probably that and some other tasks they have will be enough. We, that, that they need to build the psych wall and another wall in the in the back. That will that will occupy them for two weeks for sure. Yeah. When we get back, we have to pull all of our Ethernet cable. Oh. Right. And by the way, let me just tell you something I did not realize. Cat six A is freaking hey. thick. Uh. It's big, yeah. It's, it's about the size of your finger. It is, but it's ridiculous. And we got the shielded, shielded Cat six A. And uh, I think that Ken said he's calculated it out, and we're gonna have to pull like two miles of this cabling through the building. Oh wow! wow. That's about eight hundred and fifty dollars a thousand foot pull box. It's a lot of money, okay? Yes, and, it is. Uh, there's three boxes sitting over there right now, and we have to pull that. And what I'm really worrying about is that stuff is so thick and so heavy. Trying to pull it through the channels. It's, I don't know, it's going to be fun. Yeah, you need two guys. you got to make sure it doesn't kink or bend. Yeah. There's a lot of rules. Ivory soap. Yep. Ivory soap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh, in fact, I do have to show you one thing. Let me find it because it's kind of cool if it's still sitting around. Hang on one second. JT Webman is trying desperately to get into the, uh, the hangout. You know what? You know what I just realized? I should share a setting. I should share the circle that has all of you 
with you guys so that you have everybody's contact information on Google Plus. Yes. Would, would you all like that? Sure. Yeah. Sure. sure. Okay. Sorry, I didn't think about that a ahead of time. Okay. Who was it that's trying to get in? JT Webman. I'm tweeting him right now. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Okay. Yeah. If you. Sorry, guys. W E B. W E B M A N. J T. But is he listed as J T? Um, he's listed as Jeff Turner. He's Jeff Turner on Google Plus. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, there can't be many Jeff Turners. Right. Um, <laughs> I just tweeted him. If you want to ping him. Okay. Let me show you guys this thing. Bam. This thing uh, is actually designed to you. You basically mount. You, you stick it in the corner of a drop ceiling, wow. and you see how it's got rounded, smooth, rounded edges here? Mm -hmm. yep. So that way, you, you stick this up in the ceiling, and when you pull the cable through, you just pull, and it slides instead of uh, you know, getting caught on the, on the little ceiling On the 90-degree the angles. Yeah. Kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, that thing is awesome. I don't remember what it's called. It says Madison Electric Products, and they did not put the name I of the product. I hate when companies do that. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. I think it was called something like a Stingray or something, and it kind of looks like one. Well, I got it off Amazon for like 25 30 bucks. Well, on that plumber's tool, the nipple extractor, they don't put that name on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, mm. what else are we talking about? Um, oh, just the stuff that had to be done. Yeah. Are y'all bored with talking about the building yet? Oh, wow. that building's too exciting. <laughs> so when do you guys hope to have the certificate of occupancy? Because I know you said Friday, but I don't know if that... We were hoping Thursday <laughs> originally, then Friday. Now, I think, uh, because now... It's the... not going to happen on Friday for sure. <laughs> well, so there's two... And it's hard for me to even keep track of what all exactly has to be done. Uh, that's the GC's job, but there are like two things in my mind that I am aware of that really have to be finished. One is um, the fire alarm and you know that that is a big installation and we're just waiting right now we're literally just waiting on the parts as soon as the parts come in the fire alarm guys uh, uh, a guy named Jason and his team they're ready to go the, but mm -hmm. they can't do it until the parts get here so waiting on the parts and the second thing I know we've been talking a lot about the floor the floor actually the floor doesn't have to be done yes it does no you said it does to, for the for the seal it does yeah. Floors have to be done. Okay, well, maybe it does. But anyway, what's even more important about that is the kitchen, as silly as it sounds, the kitchen sink has to be in. Yeah. It doesn't matter about <laughs> anything else, just the kitchen sink. All the plumbing in the building has to be completed. Okay? Right. Yeah. There can't be any exposed plumbing, you know, yeah. uh, pipes or anything like that. The bathrooms are already complete, but the kitchen sink basically has to be installed and the kitchen sink can't be installed until, until the floor is done well yeah. until the countertops are in oh, right. the countertops are part of the cabinets the cabinets can't go on the floor until the floor is done <laughs> oh, I, I, yep. I see I, I went I jumped ahead of you that's right oops I'm sorry I screwed that up. What? what type of floor is it it's just it's polished just concrete yeah, and so that's what they've been working on all week, and you can see them on the drop cams yeah. and stuff working on it. But um, so if they finish it, so what was going to happen? Uh, of course, this was all going to happen like last week, but then it was going to happen earlier this week. Anyway, oh, I caught that. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. <laughs> yeah, our, we got it. Anyway, um, as soon as the floor is done, just to complicate matters. Technically, we're not just waiting on the floor. We're also waiting on the paint. Right. Because right. the wall behind, the, we're putting all these cabinets on the wall. The wall has to be painted before we put the cabinets on. Sure. 
So as soon as the floor is done, then they the paint. painters come in, and the first two things they're painting are the kitchen and the data center. Actually, I think I think it was Jason earlier asked or somebody um, who uh, if we have a name for the server room yet. No, we should name it, but we don't. Yeah. So um, the, the but the server room and the kitchen are getting painted first right. because on the day that they will paint those in the morning, in the afternoon, Ken will go and begin installing racks and gear in the data center, and I will go into the kitchen and I am going to install all the kitchen cabinetry. And I will sit here and do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> playing. Watch. <laughs> She's going to manage. Supervise. <laughs> supervise, yeah. Um, now... If he uh, won't let me hold a blade, then he sure, certainly he won't Every let time me I hand her a blade, she cuts herself. That is not true. <laughs> I know you like to say that, but it's not. Anyway, uh, so once I get the kitchen countertops in, uh, then the plumber will come right behind me. He's going to actually cut in the sink. Yeah. And he's going to plumb it. Plumb. We got like, oh, by the way, uh, I didn't tell you. No. Uh -oh. I don't like the look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have gone a little overboard with our disposal. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was ordering it, but... Oh, it is better, right? It is badass. Well, can I tell us... Like about? a 10 horse or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's like one horsepower and like... The wood chipper. Completely inaudible. You know, I went to Lowe's. Nice. I went to Lowe's. Oh, yeah. This was the day that you said you were going to Lowe's, and I thought, should I go with him to, to make sure? <laughs> nah. Okay. You didn't need to I, go. I chose not to, but... Mistake number one. <laughs> so, uh, on the shelf where they had all the, like, insincorators and stuff, there was a display. And it was like, you want to hear the difference between the cheap one and the expensive one? Push these buttons. Yep. And I pushed button number one. It was like... Arr! I was like, okay. I pushed button number two. It was like, Rrr. I pushed number three. It was like, I'll take number three. <laughs> <laughs> so in-store marketing works. It's like three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. <laughs> yep. Oh my god! Yeah. But it is Although, a manly disposal. <laughs> Although I'm sure that the people in the offices, right beside the kitchen, they will, will appreciate, appreciate that. Right. Not that we're really using the disposal very much. I'm going to use it all the time for $359. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all kinds of stuff in there. And does that unit have the biometric sensor? Oh, I don't know. Because the newer ones, I think some codes require a biometric sensor. So if somebody accidentally puts their hand in there, it will not work. Well, John can test that out. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense than the biometric sensor that I was expecting you to say that... Um, it, it if you put your hand in, then it turns right, off. Right. Like most of the time, <laughs> it, biometric sensors are giving you access to accomplish a task, right, as opposed to the other way of turning the task off. We're putting a badge reader on our disposal. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I'm going to put a badge reader on it because I'm going to be like, you know what? I paid for that damn thing. Nobody used it but me. <laughs> well, then you know you're going to have to deal with everybody else's crap, right? Uh, well, maybe not. So, um, there was one other thing. I lost it. No. Keep talking. I, I don't know what to say. I just know that i got to get the sink. i got to get the kitchen. All I know is I'm waiting for them to tell me Go put in the kitchen. Yeah. Which will mean the floors have been done and the walls are painted where I need to be. Then I go in there, I put in the kitchen, and then, like, I leave town, basically. I, I mean, I, I'm just hoping that there are no other delays because I'm – what day do I leave? Wednesday? I leave Wednesday. I, I need – oh, by the way, just to complicate things, we got a new trailer. Oh, wow. the trailer. Well. Another new trailer or the one you used for? Another new trailer. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so here's, here's the, the problem. Here's the deal. We had a small trailer, right? Yep. The reason we got the big trailer was to go to CES because we took that huge yes. monstrosity of a set and all this equipment and all this stuff. We needed this gigantic trailer, right? Right. 
But guess what? Guess what you cannot pull through the streets of downtown Manhattan? A very big trailer. trailer. Yep. How long is it? You can't take that giant trailer. You can barely get the um, little, the little trailer through New York. In fact, not only can I barely get it, they barely literally let me into New York with it. This really? is a That's true. true story. When I was trying to drive into Manhattan two years ago with all our stuff, yeah. they would not let me through the tunnel. You had to but they stopped reroute me. Reroute yourself. The, the, they stopped me and said, <laughs> "You cannot drive into there." I was like, "Oh, I I need to get to the city. What are you talking about?" They're so like, you "Had to go to the GW." Yeah. Had to go to the bridge, <laughs> which was from where I was. It diverted me like at least forty-five minute hour yep. drive to go over a bridge to get into Manhattan, okay? So, yep. anyway... Uh, well, you learned the, the lesson the next time around, so we didn't have that mistake again. I try, I try, but it's hard because the GPS, which I'm following, is trying to take me the shortest route, right. and that's right. not the route to go. But anyway, point of the story is, can't take the big trailer. So, no problem, we have the little trailer, we've been taking it everywhere for two years. Uh, or three years. It the, is three years old, so... The back door broke. <laughs> <laughs> the back door that pulls John down... fixed it. I did not fix it. <laughs> and in fact, that is the problem. I did not fix it. Right. Guess what? I learned why it broke. Why? <sighs> Apparently, the hinges on that door mm -hmm. have to be serviced. What? Those hinges actually had like little bearings in them and you have to pump yeah. grease into them. Every once in a while. I don't know, maybe once every six months, once a year. At whatever. least yeah. at least every six months. They say maybe every three or four months you pump grease into them. Yeah. I didn't pump grease in them for three years. No wonder they rusted. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So the back door broke. So what we were gonna do I thought you knew everything, John. I I didn't know that. So uh, we 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 took it to the trailer shop, you know, and we're like, hey, can you fix that? Weld on some new hinges for me or something like that. And they said no. They said, oh yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll we'll have it right. No, no, it's like, oh, okay, no big deal, no problem. And I said, cool, that sounds awesome. And then, like, as I was turning to walk away, they had the most magnificent trailer. <laughs> My understanding. I mean, they couldn't like fix the old trailer. They couldn't fix the old trailer. So I mean, it's going to cost as much to buy a new trailer as yeah. to fix it. That's what I mean. Uh huh. So what you're telling me is, I have uh, been misinformed. So the new trailer. <laughs> the, the new trailer. Which was black, with silver mirrored uh, stuff down at the bottom. Like it's all black, except for the bottom. Like 18 inches is like this mirrored silver kind of thing, and it has dual, it's tandem, dual axles instead of a single axle, and it had the giant aluminum super special wheels with really big tires. And it also had the flat, uh, no rivet, rivetless right. sidewall. Nice. What page is annoying? What page is annoying? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll turn it off. Okay, so I saw that. I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> So what I have learned today. So they had to order another one because that one was sold. So they had to order another one. And it should have been here last week. But again. A delay. Nothing arrives when it's supposed to. So now it's supposed to be here either tomorrow or Friday at the very, very latest. Which, just to complicate matters, let's not forget, we're moving all weekend. Right. And the new trailer does not yet have my cool track system on the inside. Right. So you have to put that in before you can move down. I do. Okay. E-track. 
Yeah. Uh, but we already bought all the track. Okay. But it takes, I mean, it took me probably, what, three hours to install it in the other trailer. So it's going to be, yeah. you know, it's a several hour project to get it all in the trailer. Um, so what I've learned in this process today for this Hangout is that I am not letting John go to Lowe's or to fix trailers or anything of the sort ever again alone. Take your credit card. I think that's my lesson, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have to take, take his credit card away for a moment. I'll, I, I, I'm pretty sneaky. I can get out. I, 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 I'm already in the end. <laughs> I have to have Holly uh, lock you up. Yeah. <laughs> Turn on a GPS tracker on his uh, phone. <laughs> yeah. Like, on your phone. The good news is the trailer wasn't that expensive. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It wasn't as expensive as the other one. Right. But it was still pretty expensive. Yeah. <laughs> How long is the new trailer? The new trailer. Okay, so the new trailer is... Um, the old trailer is a 6 by 12, but it's also a V-nose. Mm -hmm. So even though it's 12 in the middle, it's more like 14, and, you know, V-nose is to it. The new trailer, I was going to get another one that was basically the same size, but <coughs> upsell. So <laughs> the new one. Wow, I didn't think you were so gullible, John. The new one is 7 feet wide. Instead of six feet wide, still twelve foot with a V nose, and also an extra six inches taller, which is good because the other one, the door height, was only like five and a half feet, which means I hit my head constantly going All in. Right. <laughs> uh, the new one is six feet, which means I could still graze my head, but at least you know. It Just won't a flesh wood. Yeah. <laughs> so and then inside the new one is like six foot six, so yeah. I can walk around in there no problem. No, mm -hmm. the old one I had to walk around like this, carrying stuff in and out that's really heavy with your head like that. It hurts. Yeah. Sure. So that's the story. Yeah. We're but very busy. But is it legal in New York? Uh, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can backfire very badly. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have a special video that I'm going to be sharing this week, like, uh, in the next couple of days. You do? Yeah. What? Um, a video that I shot with our very own Michael. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was in, uh, as you guys know, I was in Minnesota less, yesterday um, for less than 24 hours. You have that pointed at me. Sorry. For less than, <laughs> it's hard to multitask here. Um, and so... Uh, you don't have that point at you. <laughs> Would you like to hold it? No, because I'm not any better than you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was in doing the uh, Verizon Hangout, and uh, we... Uh, I was doing my thing. Had a couple of viewers pop in ahead of time and watch the, the show, and then we're setting up, and I'm literally like on my way out to the airport because my flight was booked an hour. Too early. After, huh. Well, an hour after I was supposed to finish there. Wow. So, um, and then um, I I see Michael. He's like there. You're like what, You're the? Like, what the heck? I didn't know Michael lived here. Uh, so he he actually drove 45 minutes to come see us, and uh, that was awesome. Thank awesome. you, Michael. How yeah. was that? How was that, Michael? That's I've never seen that store, and it was a very cool store. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, he drove? Well, who brought you, Michael? Who brought you there? My dad's girlfriend. Okay. All right. So you guys booked it over to the mall. You got to meet <laughs> Callie. Did she look like you thought she would look face to face? Mm, kind of. <laughs> that, that makeup really does something. Tell me, tell me, because this is funny. Because seriously, like you would think that as much as everybody sees us on video, you would think we'd basically be exactly what you'd expect. But we're not always. So how did how did she differ in person from what your preconceived kind of vision of her was? 
She was. I imagined her not as tall as she was. <laughs> she is very tall, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> and funny. she. I think that a lot of people experience the same thing because yeah, normally, normally when you see Callie standing up, it, if if there's somebody beside her, oftentimes it's me. He's tall. I, I'm pretty tall, so I make her look. Sometimes, depending on what she's doing, I make her look a little shorter, yes. but but she towers over most people. So I, we should, she we should scares me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll we'll be releasing that video uh, here in the next couple of days, um, and also you could have been an Amazon. Well, my feet suggest my feet do suggest that I should have been an Amazon because I wear size ten. She thinks that her feet are gigantic. My feet are gigantic. Size ten in women's. It's like almost. It's eight. It's eight in men's. Yeah, but size ten in women's is the is hard to get. It's like you can get ten, maybe you can find eleven, but both of those are really difficult to find. It's because you are tall. You have feet that are proportionate to a person who is your height. What do you want? Holly sized feet? No. You would fall over. Okay. <laughs> What size does she wear? Do you know? Like five. five. She wears right. five. But she, she has half the size of my foot. <laughs> How she is literally like four foot ten, four foot eleven. Yeah. Not she's not. Te don't anybody tell that I told on that. But she's <laughs> not even five feet tall. Okay. <laughs> So I really am much, much taller than Holly. I'm yeah. like more than a foot taller right. than Holly. Yeah. So anyway, um, we also uh, hope to meet some of you at the uh, the meetup, the the grand opening. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, I know a few a few people are coming in already. Steve Thompson booked his flight. Unbelievable! He's coming from the UK. Steve Thompson. Wow. The one with the DeLorean. laser harp. Laser harp. I should should be there. Is he bringing his laser harp? I know. I don't know. Okay, why not? Hey, we might have but to he, ask him to, to remember, do a little uh, thing. Like yeah, a, but remember when he went, remember his laser harp, he said it was like 17 different pieces or something. Yeah, but it, it packs up into a box. He has to bring it from England. So? <laughs> England. There's, there's plenty of room on the plane. Okay. When is that going to be? It's August 1st. August 1st. August 1st. That's right. I, I have actually created half of an invite to share with all of you. I just have to finish up a few things. Like <clears throat> John needs to finish up one thing to be going to Crown Plaza. Oh, yikes! <laughs> I still haven't gotten the hotel situation squared away. I'll do I'm that. Just gonna I'll take send care of that. I'll send the email when we get off the call. When we get off this thing, I'll send the email. Okay. John will fix it. Yeah, I'll fix it. I'm all over it. That needs to be a shirt. I'll Dog pick. fixed it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm waiting. I, I booked my flight last weekend. You did? You booked your flight? Yeah. You did? I, yep. I booked a flight too. So. Wow. I am going to feel so guilty if you guys show up and you're like, this place sucks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's bright white. It's horrible. This floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just talking on this floor. And that Trey Ratcliffe picture. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's gonna be flipping the switch. On yeah, this they puzzle. are. Well, only these people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, only these people will be flipping. These guys right here are gonna be walking into the kitchen, and like going, like, "Why are? Why is somebody?" <laughs> 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 yeah, what the? Like, oh, that's their proposal right there. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I I do plan to get that out ASAP. But yeah, if you need any, like you can book flights. Uh, we'll get you the hotel information. Yeah, that, don't stress about the hotel if you're thinking about yeah, coming because we'll, we'll have something. And there are like 50 hotels, and none of them will be expensive, so it's not or it's, booked up. I mean, it's not gonna be a problem. First. But but I will get it taken care of. I'm, yeah. I I swear to you. 
I will send them the email I need to send them right after we get off this. Yep. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are probably going to cut it off a little short tonight because we've we got to keep we, packing. we got to keep packing. But, yeah. um, anybody but before we do, yeah, questions? Yes. Just info note, I had my retirement from the Air Force today. Yeah. Wow. Here in Germany. Thank you, thank you. And it was the first that I'm aware of Google Glass. Retirement. Nice. That's cool. And John, Callie included, I tagged you on G Plus and posted it there for you, so check that out. We will do it. Uh, that is so oh, that awesome. Is awesome. Congratulations. And That's again, fantastic. thank you for your service. Yes. We we appreciate you being over there keeping us all safe. Well, it's an honor. It's an honor. Thanks. So if you... Uh, that would be good. so awesome. Good. We would love to meet you. Um, yeah, so when do you come back if you're retiring today? Yeah, good question. That's okay. the uh, hurry up and aspect of the military we all know and love, yeah. so hopefully soon. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Well, congratulations from everybody, and I think right. yeah. Pete, you had a question too, or something? Yeah, well, I just wanted to say that uh, hopefully my housewarming package should be mailed out to you guys in this next week. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. You, you don't have, have to. Do to. Yeah, but we yeah. appreciate it. We'll keep an eye out. Okay. Okay. We will the, uh, keep an eye out. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out. We are heading out of town on Wednesday, but uh, if uh, people will be here accepting packages. Yeah. So if it if it doesn't arrive beforehand. Yeah. And it doesn't look like I'll be able to make it to the housewarming because that day I'm leaving for Mexico. Oh well, that <laughs> we'll forgive that. I, I think that's understandable. Yeah, <laughs> Mexico wins. <laughs> what part of Mexico? Uh, it'll, be, it'll be just about as hot as it is here. But yeah. Uh, it'll, be like, uh, it'll, yeah. it'll be south of Cancun. Oh, okay. oh wow. well, that sounds like a good time. Cancun. We need to go we back. Will, to we will miss you, Pete. What was that place called? Paraseo de. Uh, that was the. Paradiso. Oh, okay. No, lobster, lobsteranium. <laughs> that was the lobster place. Well, was that, this, we did a video about it. Um, it was the Paris. Bureau Star or something like that. The Bureau Star, Bureau Star Paris. Yeah. All I know is I ate 20 lobsters in one week. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, that is how I now judge every other vacation. How many lobsters did I get? No, this one sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you guys got anything going on? We anything we want to chat about? Just wanted to know about your geek fit because you're coming. You're at the end of your twelve weeks now. Yeah. So are you gonna continue on with them or just sort of do a main maintenance of your own free will? <laughs> For own free will. I don't think I have any free will left. <laughs> yeah. well, I gotta say I have gotten off the van off the wagon this last week with all the travel and I was sick last week. I, I have fallen off the wagon. I will admit it. No, first of all, saying you have fallen off the wagon is the most ridiculous thing ever because that makes <laughs> it sound like you were cheating on your, your food and you gained weight and you blah, blah, blah. No. Not, not going to the gym five days a week because you're actually traveling and working doesn't count as falling off the wagon, okay? I feel right. like feel bad though. I did actually, while I was in Minneapolis, I went for a 30 minute really hard run and my shins are killing me today. See, I wouldn't have even done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I woke up after like a couple hours of sleep in the hotel room. I slept, the hotel room was really comfortable, but I did not sleep well at all. Got in so late and all that. But I was feeling so dragged down, yeah. you know, that I was like, the only thing I can do is Get some extra, so get some blood pumping. You know that technically you're not answering the question right now. Okay, go. I, I was just, it's been 12 weeks. What now? What are you gonna do now? 
I am going to get back into it. You're yeah, gonna keep doing yeah, it. I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep keep doing it because I feel like I feel bad if I if I don't. You know, I mean, uh, I think it's. I, I feel better about myself uh, on the program, so maybe will you, eventually... Will you keep going as hard, though? Mm, for a while, yeah. Uh, maybe eventually I'll settle into a little bit of a, you know, a, a pattern that's a little less rigorous, but in, for the next couple of months I plan to keep going. Are you trying to really lose more weight or get bigger or do whatever? I mean, are you really... Like, are you trying to physically change your appearance at all right now, or are you fine? A little bit, in certain areas. No good. You? Yeah, I'm trying to get bigger now. Yeah. So now I have a problem because I'm in this weird, now I'm in this weird phase where certain parts of me look pretty good. This is, of course, entirely my own opinion, okay? <laughs> Which ultimately is the one that matters, right? But yeah. So certain parts of me look pretty good, and certain parts of me I feel need to be bigger. And we don't need to know about that, John. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was a good one. I got it. I was not. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. I should have seen that coming. But uh, like, for example, my chest. Okay, uh, which which this could be this could be a problem because I can tell you that in my entire life I have never been satisfied with my chest. Is there's never been one day that have went by and I thought, oh, my chest looks pretty good. Um, so, and we all have those parts of our bodies. I guess so. So uh, right now. Um, I have lost so much weight. It, losing weight is the problem. I have lost a ton of body fat. Mm -hmm. I am I am now down. Oh yeah, how was your? Uh, did you lose more on Monday? I am I am very lean. Okay, uh, for my age, for my age group, I am in the 99th percentile. Wow! Wow! wow. That's good. So um, that's good. That's the good news. I'm I am very very fit. There's no doubt. By any measure, I'm very fit. And if you go to the gym with me and actually work out, you know I can work out with the best of them. But I feel like uh, my physique is too slender at the top, um, and. That bothers me now. I, I know it shouldn't because I definitely look better than I did 12 weeks ago. Lots better. Oh, yeah. Lots better. I know that. I know that. But for some reason, I am less satisfied now than I was then. I can tell because the, 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 you know, the effort you put into, you know. I didn't care 12 weeks ago. Right. What did I have to care about? And you know what? That's how that's how these uh, these people in the gym get get going. Like that's how they get bigger is because they get addicted to that. Well, I hope hopefully I'm not addicted. But well, no, I don't mean in a bad way. I just mean like you start paying attention and you start feeling good about yourself. You want to make everything better. Well, so for me, yes, it's been 12 weeks, but there's some problems. Number one, I can't just go back to eating the way I was before. I'm at this weird point where. If I just went back to doing the old things I was doing, it would negate all this hard work right. that I did. That would be a waste. And number two, I don't feel like I'm at the point right now where I can just say, oh, this is where I, I'm happy being, so let's tone it down a little and we'll just maintain right here. I don't want to maintain right here. I feel like I'm too small. I'll tell you guys something that I don't tell anybody, okay? I'm, uh, I'm incredibly self-conscious about this right now, and uh, it, it, really, it, it really makes me feel bad. Uh. Last week, I weighed in at 151.1, and I am, you know, I'm six feet tall. And when, when that happened, I just felt... I cannot tell you how bad it made me feel. 
because I thought, you know what, I'm like two pounds away from being not even 150 pounds. I, I could... I could drop into the hundred and five. If I hit one forty nine, I'd be very, very unhappy. Now, we can all sit here and use our logical minds and say that's just a number. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you look and how you feel. I know that. We all know that. But there are certain there are certain things that can happen to you in life that there is no logic that can overcome the emotion associated with it. Yeah. And when I was very yeah. young, um, I was smaller than everybody else. Yeah, I, was, I was really a runt. I did not hit my growth spurt until I was 16. And I was five feet tall. And everybody else was bigger than me. And they they picked on me in a playful way. Not like, you know, I didn't get bait up like, you know. But, you know, they picked on me because I was small. Yep. Yeah. And, and yep. it really bothered me. Now, when I was 16, um, I did finally hit my growth spurt. I grew 10 inches in one year. It was brutal. Wow. wow. And because of that ridiculous growth spurt, I was skinny as a rail. And I was, so now I went from feeling self-conscious about being smaller than everybody to self-conscious about feeling very skinny. That is not something that I want to feel like in my adult life. So that's why, for me, I didn't want to be below 160 pounds. But I kept losing fat. Losing, I am not losing muscle. Because in reality, when we're measuring things, my biceps have grown by at least an inch and a half. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty big bicep, you know? Um, but, and my chest has grown by an inch and something. It's my waist that has shrunk a lot. And okay. other areas where you put the calipers, the fat is going away. So technically, my muscles are definitely getting bigger. And the fat is what I'm losing. But at some point, you just don't care. You hear, you see a number, and it just bothers you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a very I long... I understand that, that's but you long... have absolutely nothing to be uncomfortable about. I mean, you, you look amazing, and you are growing. John, yep. John Kelly is right, and I think I speak for everyone here that uh, you're a handsome and powerful man. You're <laughs> 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 the wrong types of beer and in the wrong quantities. It's true. <laughs> come up with a therapy for you. You know, we can kind of go over it uh, at the party in August. Good plan. The 16-ounce <laughs> curl. Maybe we need to move to 20-ounce. <laughs> yeah. Special military therapy, you know, that I, I can catch yeah. up with. I'm sure. No problem. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Uh, Thank you. So, yes. So we'll see. But I, I think for me, I, I need to, I need to keep going a little longer because I want to try and put it back on another uh, five to ten pounds of lean mass. And then I will feel like, okay, now we can maintain. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but right now that's where mentally where I'm at, and that's what I'm kind of committed to. Understandable. Yeah. Uh, well, I was picked on, and I still get picked on, and um, people were mean. What's well, up? They were mean to me. Well, you don't have anything to, to be embarrassed about either, Bruce. No. No. I Not anymore. No. I don't let it bother me anymore. No. Nope. Good. Nope. Anybody got any other little things we should chat about before we pop off? I just wanted to say one thing about your fire system. When they install the fire system cabling, <coughs> you have to make sure that they install that very far away. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. They got to install that cable very, very far away from everything else because that system is noisy. Very noisy. Going the, the, the fire system, and by the way, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to regurgitate some stuff. Okay. It's that it's like an intelligent system. Yep. And uh, what's going to happen is they are running the physical cabling down. If you were staring at the building, they're running that cabling down the right side of the building. It, it goes down, and then it kind of forks off 
into the places, you know, goes across into the places where it ties into things. Yep. But but everything ties back into what I would consider to be kind of one central line going on the right side of the building. Yeah, you'll notice it's bright red cable. Yes. And, All um, of the Ethernet and everything else run down the left side of the building. Good. So they're physically 50 feet apart at least. Smart, smart, it's smart communications. It means it's bi-directional communications with each device it's talking to. Yes. They're all addressable or whatever, right? Yes. Yeah. So should be, should be pretty good. And the guys that we have uh, are, are, you know, really very knowledgeable. So hopefully they get it right. Good. Anything else, guys? Well, I would just like I to think so. in solidarity with all those who are being picked on that. Uh, the patron blood of Geek Beat runs very thick. If you That's pick right. on one, you pick on all of them. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Well, anybody gets messed with, you just close and we rally, man. Yeah, it comes down. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right. And we have that new saying, what is it, Geek is Chic? Geek yeah. is Chic, nice. <laughs> <laughs> And along those lines, I don't know. I yeah, I think I said it once. You guys got here. I I will share. You guys, I will make sure that all of you have a circle that has all of you in it. That way, okay. um, we can become more of a, a family as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, you know, who who the, these guys are and all that. Cool. Very oh, cool. Good. All right, I got to go and uh, send that email about the uh, hotel. <laughs> yeah. Good. And then we got to finish the um, packing and actually get yeah, some food because right? I know yeah. everybody's exhausted. So. And if there's no room, John, can you put me up in your backyard shed? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> backyard for all. I, I think it's the pool, actually. The uh, pool the pool. Nice now. It's starting to warm up. Yay! I can't wait. <laughs> Of course, I'm sleep on the couch in the quiet room. Call dibs like Right. Thanks for hanging out. We'll chat with us. I enjoyed this little setup. We might have to do it again. Yeah, I think we need like next time we'll get your computer over there. We get a couple big monitors, one over here, we'll point all at each other, and we can get like twenty people going. Be cool. All right, thanks, guys. Okay, guys. Good night. 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 Good